Yes, and I'm coming to you from the Verde Valley, trying out some awesome beers in the Prescott Camp Verde Cottonwood area. So check it out. Ha ha! And today I'm coming to you from the Verde Valley region of Arizona. So what I'm doing today is a little different. Uh, I'm trying a bunch of breweries in this area. In other words, you know, Cottonwood, Camp Verde, Prescott, Prescott Valley. So what it's going to be some really quick reviews. Check it out. Different beers, different establishments. So we'll see how this goes. It'll be fun. Oh yeah, especially for me. <laughs> Okay, so the first one I'm trying today is the Verde Brewing Company, which is in Camp Verde, Arizona. So anyway, this first one I'm trying is called Gold... I almost said Gold Knuckle. <laughs> gold Buckle. So the first one I'm trying is the Gold Buckle Ale. Now this is a really interesting one because it's got some alfalfa brewed with it. It's got kind of a little bit of a lemon aroma to it. They do a lot of things that you normally won't do with a blonde. So let's give this a try. Yes, you can definitely taste that lemon aroma to it. You can taste the alfalfa in it. This is a really, really good beer. It's a good flavor. The hop character is kind of mild. And it really is something I would recommend. So, you know what? Try the gold buckle here at Verde Brewing Company. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, the next one I am reviewing is the Pecan Dunkelweizen. So obviously by the name, we got a Dunkelweizen, which is a German dark wheat style, and it's made with pecans. Once again, it's made with local ingredients. The pecans are a local orchard. 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 Orchard! So let's give it a try. Very, very good beer. It definitely is that Dunkelweizen taste that you expect out of the German style, but the pecans, you can taste the pecans in this. You can, it's locally grown, it's delicious beer, so I highly recommend the Pecan Dukelweizen. Try it if you're a Verde Brewing Company. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, and I'm on my next stop on the Verde Valley Tour. I am in Cottonwood, Arizona at that brewery. So, we're gonna try some beers over here. The first one I'm gonna try is the Strawberry Blonde. So let's give this a shot. All right, this is a good beer. I can definitely taste the strawberries in it. It has a pretty good flavor. I like the uh, flavor of it. The hop character is a little mild, but it should be with the style. It's about 5.2% alcohol. The hop character is mild, which it should be with the style. And it is a blonde ale with that fruit flavor in it. So I would say, yeah, this is definitely something we're trying. If you're here in Cottonwood, you gotta check out that brewery, okay? Got it, ha <laughs> ha! Alright, the next one I am trying is the Rye Pale Ale at that brewery. So, let's give this a shot. This is a very interesting beer. What, what, the reason why I say interesting is this. Is it's hop character, it tastes really, really hoppy. But actually, if I think about it, it's not. What I'm tasting is that rye, the rye is giving it a hoppy flavor when it's actually not the hops that are causing it. It's the rye that's causing it. So it's a pale ale style, not an IPA like you would think originally if you try it. But this is very good. I, I have to admit I'm partial to rye, rye type beers also. So uh, it's a good beer. It's definitely worth trying. So you know what? If you're in Cottonwood, I already said it. Come to that brewery. You have to try it. So ha 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 from Heavy Metal Beer Review, and I am down at Superstition Meadery in Prescott, Arizona, trying some of their meads. A little off base, but hell, beer, mead, it's worth it. You gotta try it. So this one right here is the Honey Mesquite, so we're gonna give this one a try. Wow, this is an incredible taste. The Honey Mesquite, extremely flavorful, sweet, gorgeous taste in it. I mean, not that really, really sweet, not a dry. Definitely worth drinking. So if you're down here in Prescott, you gotta check out the Superstition Meter. It's an awesome place. <laughs> All right, I'm still here at Superstition Meadery trying some of their awesome meat. Now this one is the Honey Highway. Um, so let's go ahead and give this one a try. 
Wow, this has got a very, very interesting flavor for it. It's got a, uh, how do I taste this? Um, it's actually a little sweeter than the last one, yeah, but I'm getting some aromas of like caramel in it and some flavors like that out of it. Once again, this is really, really good. For someone who's a beer drinker, I am enjoying the mead. That's all I can say. So my Verde Valley trip continues on in Prescott. Check it out. Ha <laughs> ha. And this is Hessian. You are watching Heavy Metal Beer Review. And I am feel mildly cultured as I sit here at Black Hole Brewing Company in Prescott, Arizona. They gave me a really nice place to film, like Masterpiece Theater. At least for my own content it is, so what the hell. So anyway, first beer I'm going to try here is the Black Hole Stardust Pale Wheat. Let's give this a try. Very good beer. It is an American Pale Wheat style. Now, it doesn't taste the wheat character in it like the wheat beer have, but it's got that pale, hoppy character to it that you would imagine that if you add some hops to it, you can have pale wheat flavor. So as I said, this is a good beer. I do recommend it, so check it out. All right, give it a middle. Ha <laughs> ha! Culture side of heavy metal beer review. Trust me, it's not going to get more culture than this. So, the next one I'm trying is the Black Hole Coffee Slam. So, let us give this a try. The name fits the beer. That is all I can say about it. Coffee Slam, you will taste the coffee in this. It's got some caffeine. So, if you need a little caffeine with your beer because you're getting tired, then this is a good beer. It definitely, I would recommend this. Now, given it's Prescott, the weather up here is a little cooler, a lot better than Phoenix, I'll say that. And therefore, stouts work well up here, even during the summer. So, you know what? I'm going to recommend this. This is the Coffee Slam. This is Black Hole Brewing Company, and it is Hessian approved. Yeah! And I'm at my last stop on my Verde Valley tour of beer. This is Granite Mountain Brewery in Prescott, Arizona. And the beer I'm going to try right now is called the Attitude. It's called the Attitude Adjuster Double IPA. Now, this thing is 9.2% alcohol and 100 IBUs. That is an insane amount of IBUs. My God, it's like. I can't, I, I can't imagine more hop character if you make chewing tobacco with hops. So, we're going to give this a try. Oh my god, does this have some hop! Woo! If you... Wow! If you like hops, and you love IPAs, you've got to try this beer. It is potent. It's got some hops. I, I don't know what else to say. It's like, it's very, very dry also. But, my God, the hops just completely walk in, grab you by the lip, and throw you out the door. I mean, my God, that's hoppy. So, you know what? I will recommend it if you like IPAs. If you don't like IPAs, I'd love to see the look on your face when you try it. So, <laughs> Anyway, keep it metal. Yeah. And I am signing off from Granite Mountain Brewery in Prescott, Arizona. It's been one hell of a trip. A lot of breweries, a lot of beers, it's been a lot of fun. So, check out the middle of Arizona. Cottonwood, Camp Verde, Prescott, Jerome. Just try them all. They're all good. Ah, see you later. Ah.